in standard tuning, G stays the same, B stays the same, E is down to the D. These are octaves, this is an open G chord, G is the root, that's open G tuning. Keith Richards played many songs in open G tuning, uh, tuning uh, Tumbling Dice, Happy, Brown Sugar, that signature, Keith Richards chord, with the barring these five strings, either muting out the sixth string or not worrying about it because it is a, uh, let's see, D, which is part of the G chord, which is fine. So you got the bar here, and the first, the next fret is fingered with the second finger on the second B string and the third finger on the D string or the fourth, two frets up. So it's usually on and off. And in Honky Talk Woman, we're either in the second position, the fifth position, seventh, or twelfth. If you know that going in, you're not going to be all over the guitar. We're in one of those positions. The intro is. pluck the middle two strings. I also pluck the A string with it because it's part of the G chord. In fact, it's the root. It's kind of a clawing, pulling away maneuver. And then uh, you go into that signature slide, kind of like a pedal steel country honk. That's the opening riff of the song. We're sliding the second finger on the third string up to the fourth, back to the second, open. to the open G chord. That's one lick. I tried this a couple times. I've been too long with the video, so I'm not going to agonize over explanations. I'm just going to show you some riffs. So, that's the opening riff. Then... That's easy. The next part... Sliding from the second to the fourth, then the D string. And then this part slide down from the 5th fret to the 3rd, playing the E string, then we're going to finger that, so the 2nd fret, then the 7th, and the next part is open G string, so it's a slide, open, then slide, and other than nuances in the song, there's really not much to it, once you get into open G tuning, you'll notice that the fingering is very easy, there's just a couple little things in there, if you listen to that first cycle I played at the beginning of this video, you could play that throughout the verse and the songs, and get away with it. It's just little nuances like one ending is before he gets into the rock and roll boogie riff, so to speak, uh, that's just part of the chorus. Um, there's another part where um, when the song gets loud gets into that pedal steel country sound. So that's a bend here at the second position. And then take both these strings. We have that variance. Um, 
other than that, there's not a lot to it. Uh, the ending is easy. It's a bend up on the G string. And hammer on to the fourth string. Pull off and hammer on. Ending on that open G chord. Hitting this string twice on the second fret. That one little nuance in the first cycle, uh, the ending is a little bit funny. So we got the harmonic right over the fret, not you know like your finger in the nose, but a harmonic. Then slide down. And then it starts the chorus. Slide from the fourth to the second fret of the G or third string. Um, other than that, your ear can be your guide. You can go from the beginning of this video, do that cycle. You can listen to the track I laid down yesterday where I went through the whole song, the studio version, the one that was released in 69, uh, along to a backing track. That's pretty close to what he did. He never played it twice after that, believe me, the same way. He was flail around. He seemed to revel in the fact that, hey, look, I'm in G tuning. If your guitar doesn't sound like that, retune to G. Uh, that's pretty much the whole song. I like to do things easy where I kind of explain the riffs, let you do it, because when you figure it out for yourself and play along with the studio recording, it'll really be ingrained in your system as opposed to rote memorization of somebody telling you this. Like I did Funk 49. Okay, so I was, I was real happy because somebody... Uh, a little kid sent me back his version of Funk 49 after I laid down a little lesson. I was thrilled to death. This this dude was young, but he's going at it, and I was really proud to get that as a response video. So there you go, honky tonk woman. Have fun with it. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.